Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we got a 10 slot bag from Saida because we helped her finish a quest by slaying some oozes and finding the bag. And then once we brought the bag back, she didn't really want it anymore. So she gave it to us. So now we have a 10 slot bag. That was pretty damn good. And I also learned that we can actually make Murloc Finn soup. We just have to farm Murloc Fins. I don't think we'll do that today. But I am uh, going to be saving and holding on to those. I wish I didn't sell them before, but... That is what it is. Today we are going to be heading over to the Welgar's exc excavation site. And we are going to be doing that quest chain. I think that's going to be the plan. So you sprint here, and then we'll make our way over there. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Had a pretty good night. Did a raid, didn't get any loot. Well, actually, I got a back piece. Of, of the second boss in Black Temple. That was for my rogue. It was pretty damn good. Got some loot. No glaives yet, though. Guild has not seen any glaives yet. I think the raid's been up for like three months. But it is what it is. You know, we gotta be patient. We got a little crocodile skin. I can. So we'll bring him on the journey. enough energy. Yeah, we're level 27. We haven't died yet. We are still alive and well. I think we can hit 60. It's only a matter of time. And just playing, it's playing smart and playing safe. I think that'll get us there. So here we are at the excavation site. Gonna have to watch out for the rafters around here. So these raptors aren't issued to that. I'm gonna have to watch out though. Our health's a little low. We should probably have a bite to eat. We'll have some boiled clams. And then make our way up. There he is, Omer Ironbraid. You got my attention. Situation here is severe. 
That much is for sure. When we uncovered these bones, it attracted the raptors. These filthy beasts killed my brethren and trapped me. Marin and the poor prospector up here. Help clear the wetlands of these raptors. Double seven. Modeled raptors and modeled creatures are just west of the bluff here. Kill ten of each if you can. That will be go a good start to the vengeance I have planned for them. good. All right, so we're taking revenge on the raptors. See which ones we have to hunt down. Modeled raptors and modeled screechers. Looks like there was a wild steel bloom up there. I don't think we can get it. Gotta kind of watch out in this area. I do f could fall to my death pretty easily. So we got some modeled raptors over here. And I like the nature proc, the nature like damage proc in the sword. It does a lot of damage. And I wonder if we can cook anything with these raptor eggs. I don't know if I should keep like hold on to them or not. Herbalism is almost at 200, which is kind of crazy. It's a couple screechers. Looks like there's another person out here doing the same quest as me, maybe. there's any raptors around here. Maybe we actually have to go back into the excavation site. The Black Channel Marsh. A lot of raptor eggs around here, but not many raptors. I wonder what's in here. There's actually a hidden place up to up here in the mountains in Dunmorough. I think I did this on uh, Squidly Diddly and there's also and Trap and Trap. And up here there's like a There's like a, a an underdown like tunnel that brings you to like the edge of the world. And if you go there um and it's like jump out of the like into it. It teleports you to Iron Forge. So this guy's hardcore. And he is um AoE farming, level twenty-seven. It's a fast way to, to get XP, that's for sure. At us over here just doing one at a time instead of fighting like four or five. Oh, this creature. Oh man. Can you handle this? Well, maybe. I got evasion up for another seven seconds. It's gonna start getting rough here. Energy. He's only level 24. Now. I don't have enough energy. Not enough energy. Not Gotta energy. watch out, though. Energy. Not enough energy. 
enough energy. Alright, well the screechers screech. Guess we'll eat some of these mushrooms. And we couldn't we can't do that again, I know that, that's for sure. We, but evasion helped out. It worked well. So I should be going in with gear oats. Stop out a lot. I can't do that. Boots. Male boots we can sell. I think we'll deal with the screechers last. I gotta like, pull them away. Creatures around here. The good thing about these raptors is they don't run away. I wonder what the radius is on the screech. Oh, we can take a risk here. Just pull him away. Pull him to this corner over here. We'll see if his screech pulls any of the raptors over here. There's a bright one over there as well. Should try to get that. Alright, well he screeched and he didn't pull anything, so that was good. So you just gotta run them away a little bit. And then you should be safe. There's the fire thorn over there. You don't get any XP from it. Well, oh, herbal is an XP, but we do need fire thorn. We need to actually make these health bots to level up our alchemy. Enough energy. I'm going to be trying to get as many of those as I can. Because at our current herbalist. Uh, level, we could easily get to 200. And once we get to 200, we'll have really good elixirs. That raptor. I don't have enough energy. Not enough energy. Good. I don't have enough energy. I wonder if you can sap these uh, raptors. I wonder if they're considered to be humanoids. Probably not. They're they're lizards. That's invalid. Pull this guy away as well. Enough energy. Alright, so let's loot this briar thorn. I need to get closer. Then we'll make ourselves a health pot. Inventory is full. Oh, three, and our inventory is full. That sucks. Okay, we'll get rid of this tooth. And then we'll make ourselves three pots. Hopefully our inventory is full. We're going to have to go back to town pretty soon. Just deliver, drop stuff off. We have a bag that we can actually use and put in the bank. I can't do that. I don't have enough energy. Not enough energy. Not enough energy. Oh, we 
got a bruise weed over here. Let's pick that up. Seem to be getting a lot of bruise weed. I think we'll be able to level up our, our alchemy pretty soon. Should probably go for the Screecher last. This does increases experience and gold earned from quests by 100%. I didn't know it was gold, too. So that's good. That actually helps us get our mount. So we need one more modeled creature. I guess I'll start heading back. And I assume by the time we get back, we should find a modeled creature and modeled raptor. The good thing is we have all our cooldowns back, so don't really have much to worry about. Our uh, food buff's going down though in three minutes. This will be the last one. Oh, yeah. Wonder if that mage is still in this, and then there's the final two screens over there. There's like three of them actually. And we got a patrolling raptor over here. If I can pull this guy, they're pulling the others. That's why it's always good to have a range weapon, just so you can range pull like that. I can't do that. Not enough energy. I, I think we're far far away, so shoot more like more hope. Alright, so let's have a bite of some mushrooms and then we'll range pull this other screecher. This one should be our final one. We didn't pull any others. It's good. I need to get to I can't do that yet. I think we're safe over here. Oh my gosh! Pull two. Combination. I think we should be okay. Not enough energy. I don't Taking us a while to take down this uh, creature. Let's fight this raptor now. Pot there. Food buff's gonna fall off in 30 seconds. I think we'll be okay. Alright, so let's reapply our food buff. And then we will head back to the excavation site and turn this quest in. Make sure we don't pull any of these creatures. What's that over there? Bruise weed. I think we have enough bruise weed for now. I think with the amount we have, we could go for it. But with the amount we have, we could get to probably over 150. But I don't think it would hurt to get it.
Plus it gives us a little bit of XP. Gotta make sure we don't pull anything. There we go, 183 herbalism. I think we have it up to 225. Yeah, 225. So around 200 we'll be able to max it out. That'll cost us a couple of gold, but we do have over five gold right now, so that's pretty good. And here we are back at the excavation site. I wonder how they got trapped here. Like, didn't, wouldn't they have seen the raptors? Like, while they were coming in? I've always liked the way night elves jump. They do, like, a back flip or a front flip. Blood elves do the twirl. All right, so let's turn this in to make sure we don't fall off. I don't know why he does that. It's kind of... Hear there. You want to fall off. That's all I got to say. Killing is a dirty business, but you did your job well, 007. If I weren't obligated to stay with the Prospector and Marin, I'd be down there shedding blood right along with you. Okay, so it looks like now it's time to really make those dreaded raptors regret their bloodthirst. Just down below, there are scores of modeled Cyclaws and modeled Razor Maws. Make those rotten creatures pay by slaying ten of each. Watch your back. All right, so it looks like we got to slay the more of these raptors. And we will get into that eventually. I think we slayed enough raptors for today. So let's sell some stuff here. Clearly you got my attention. Full bags. We were the sharp claw, the boots, the raptor scales. Don't know what to do with the eggs. Tangy clam meat we can get rid of, maybe? We're going to need to get our cooking up, though. Cooking's kind of falling behind our alchemy. So maybe we'll just have one of these days where we uh, focus a little bit on farming murloc fins. I think that would be a good idea. Is there anything else for us to get rid of? Don't think so. Yeah, guys. That Watch is going... I think that's pretty good. And that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.